This is the street canyon, and this is you. If you're walking down one when the wind is blowing, you might just get blown off your feet. But the problems these canyons cause are way worse than just a strong breeze. Before we get into this, click subscribe. You're already here. On February 26, 1909, a huge storm hit New York City. Winds reached 69 miles per hour, funneled down Broadway, blasting through glass windows and doors. An 11-year-old boy trying to cross the street was blown underneath a hearse and run over. The New York Times wrote that down Broadway, the wind swept the battery, where the skyscrapers made a funnel, through which the gale spilled itself out into the harbor. Wind tunnels formed by skyscrapers are dangerous, but not because you'll get hit by a signpost. Street canyons are formed when the buildings on either side of the street are more than double the height of the width of the street. There are even different categories of canyons depending on building height and street width, and they each create their own different set of problems. The least problematic condition, but the most annoying for us pedestrians, is the wind tunnel. When the wind is traveling parallel to the street canyon, it creates a wind tunnel. When the width of the street varies, it accelerates because of the Venturi effect. The Venturi effect happens when the wind is channeled through a small opening. When the opening widens, the pressure drops, causing the wind to speed up. While uncomfortable, that's the extent of the parallel wind problems. The real problems are caused by perpendicular wind. A stream of wind travels over the top of the buildings, trapping air beneath it. This creates a vortex of recirculating air that's trapped in the canyon. The vortexes form when the wind is over three and a half miles per hour, pretty low. There are two major issues with these vortexes. The first is heat, and the second is pollutants. Each one of these is bad enough on their own, but together, they make each other worse. Let's look at the less bad problem first, heat. Street canyons store heat. They can increase the temperature two to four degrees Fahrenheit. Streets oriented north to south store the most heat, around 30%. This contributes to the formation of urban heat islands, which is when cities are hotter than the suburbs around them. Not only do materials like asphalt and metal store more heat than grass and trees, but wind vortexes also trap them down at street level. The second and larger problem is pollution. It's caused by wind vortexes and street canyons' ability to trap heat. While street canyons trap heat, this heat is not evenly dispersed. When street canyons prevent sunlight from entering the canyon until late in the afternoon, the air at the canyon's base is cooler than that at the top. This inversion keeps cold air at the bottom, trapping traffic pollutants right where people breathe them. And while you might think the trees would help since they absorb CO2 and pollutants, you'd be wrong. They actually trap emissions down at street level, right where people breathe them in. But what can we do about it? Street canyons have become an inherent result of city growth, but their effects can be mitigated with urban design. The height of buildings can be regulated, buildings can be set back further from the street, or buildings can be stepped at the top to reduce wind vortexes. All of these things greatly reduce street level pollution. And they're really old strategies. Some of them were invented by the ancient Greeks. While trees aren't a good option to reduce pollution, studies suggest that growing plants vertically would be. Growing plants like this, vertically, can reduce as much as 10 times the amount of nitrogen dioxide and 12 times as much particulate matter as rooftop vegetation. That's because it can access the dirty street level air, but doesn't hinder the airflow. This idea is very effective, but also very expensive. Here's hoping that vertical vegetation becomes less expensive, or maybe people stop driving as much. 
What do you think should be done about street canyons? Let us know in the comments, like this video, click subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell for post notifications. Thanks!